friends I am feeling nicely refreshed today I actually took a whopping two days off from the gym I know I know it's terrible but it really felt necessary I was feeling run down and I was also dealing with pain in my knees I think it's just been a lot of strain with some of the movements and cut and then by yesterday I was feeling equally if not more exhausted so I called an audible and decided to take another rest I iced my knees yesterday and I had also iced them once the day before I'm still definitely going actually I only iced one knee because one my right knee kind of feels back to normal but the left knee feels very tight it feels like it's completely depleted of synovial fluid, if I'm even remembering that term correctly. That's totally my lizard brain. But the, the fluid that lubricates your joints, it feels like there isn't any. <laughs> so if I get into a deep knee bend or try to squat, it just feels like pulling on a rubber band and it's on the brink of snapping. So I decided to take it easy yesterday and today, and I'm going to switch up my schedule a bit and do upper body today. Today was actually supposed to be a plyometrics day. Technically, yesterday was supposed to be a plyometrics day, but I know for a fact that that's not smart with how my knee is feeling. So the plan is to do upper body. It would be upper body and hit as the workout is written, but I'm gonna skip the hit because that will involve jumping and stuff too. And I wanna give my knee at least one more day and I'm definitely going to roll out on a foam roller before I start working out and possibly afterward as well. I despise rolling out and I should, I should do it way more than I do. It's probably why I'm in this pickle right now. In any event, I'm getting my morning started. I've already had my apple cider vinegar drink and right now I'm about to have the maiden taste test of my homemade cold brew. The video I watched said to brew it for 12 to 15 hours, I think. Mine brewed a, a touch longer, maybe 16 to 17 hours, mainly because when I first put the coffee beans and water in the container, it was like noon. So I would have had to stay up till midnight to strain it, which I ain't doing. And then I was just like, well, I get up at 6.30 or so, so that won't be that much longer. It should probably be fine. So hopefully I didn't fuck this up. Here it is. I just uh, diluted it with some water and ice, which is what I normally do. I don't add creamer or sweetener anymore. Tastes pretty good, actually. Hey, look at me! I'm gonna save so much money now. I'm excited about this. I have a little bit of beans left from that first batch that I bought, so I can use those up, and it'll be nice because now I can decide exactly what kind of beans I even use when I make my cold brew, if I want it darker or lighter, or make sure I get organic coffee beans and stuff like that, so I'm pretty excited about this. This is a good development. So I'm going to finish drinking this, do my oil pulling. I drink my coffee before I do my oil pulling because coffee stains your teeth real bad. And I've already noticed it staining my teeth. I'm like, can we pull up my next dental cleaning because I need it. That's another reason I drink it with a straw just to try to mitigate how much contact it's actually getting with my teeth. And then I do my oil pulling afterward to hopefully try to lift some of those stains before they get really set in there. But that's it, I'm gonna drink this, probably watch some France 24, that's where I get my news, and then head to the gym.
cool. Hi, Ray Ray. You're quite the welcome committee. I am back from the gym and you could see my welcome committee. That is the greeting I get pretty much every time I come home, even if I've only been gone for 15 minutes. So Ray Ray's always happy to see you. The gym was pretty, 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 pretty good. For one thing, I can tell you for certain, I am never buying cold brew again. Yes, I probably will. But for the most part, I am never buying cold brew again. The homemade cold brew tasted just as good as the stuff that I purchased and it got the job done. It worked. Maybe it was that extra hour or two of, uh, of brewing. I got to the gym and immediately forgot that I had set the intention to roll out. <laughs> so I actually started the workout and then remembered that I was supposed to get the foam roller and then I went and did some rolling out. And as you guys saw, it got me feeling good enough to actually go ahead and do the hit portion that was included at the end of the workout. Pretty much immediately after that first session of rolling out, I felt 65% better, I would say, in my knee. And because of that, and because my energy was pretty good, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do this hit portion because the upper body workout was very body weight focused. I think the only movements that had any additional resistance were the ones where you saw me using those resistance uh, those resistance bands and those were substituting for cable pulls and things like that because my gym doesn't have cable machines at all basically if it's not a squat rack or a medicine ball or a dumbbell or a kettlebell we don't have it that's my preference or how I like to work out so it's perfect for me but a lot of those traditional pieces of equipment we won't have in fact we don't even have a neutral grip pull-up bar which is why you saw me doing those ring body rows because that's the closest i can get to a neutral grip i can do neutral grip actually no i can't even my power tower at home doesn't have a neutral grip i can do a pretty wide grip and a regular grip but not neutral so that's too bad in any event all the upper body work took me probably about half an hour because once i factor in the time that i spent rolling out i think i was done with all that in half an hour or less so I decided to just go ahead and do the hit portion after some additional rolling out and then I rolled out again at the very end of my workout and I think I'm going to do a little bit more work at home tonight. I've got a foam roller of my own which just shows you what an idiot I am because I've been dealing with this knee pain for like three days now, three, four days and I knew that rolling out would probably make it feel better but I just was like oh, I'll just ice it. I'm sure it'll fix itself. No, roll it out. It's painful, but it's worth it. And I felt like significantly better right away. So that is the plan. I'm gonna use my own foam roller a bit later tonight when I'm just home relaxing. I am having dinner with William tonight. And maybe I'll bring the camera along for that. I feel like he would be happy to have a cameo appearance here on my channel. I'm back from the gym now and I'm gonna make a smoothie because I didn't have enough oats to make a batch of overnight oats so I don't have anything ready for me to eat. So I'm just going to make a smoothie and uh, make sure I get in some more of those collagen peptides because I've been trying to be diligent about those again the past few days because of this uh, these knee issues. So now it's time for that. It's time to make a shake. You are seeing me on my couch for the umpteenth time because I completely forgot to even mention, pick up, look in the general direction of this camera uh, once I was hanging out with Phil. He popped over here on his way home from work. We started gabbing as we always do. So this one's over here. <laughs> that is the hacking that you just heard. Let's get you in the frame, Ray Ray. Let's do our usual setup so that you can actually see her because I know everyone, it's the Ray Ray show, let's be honest. Anyway, Philliam stopped here on his way home and then we just walked to a place nearby to get dinner together and I, I'm I'm not I'm not ever gonna be a vlogger. That's why I call these not vlogs. Once I'm actually occupied with good company or just something fun and interesting in my real life, the last thing I'm thinking about is recording it. One thing I definitely do want to do is do a travel not vlog next time I go to New Orleans, which will hopefully be sooner than later. It's my favorite city in the world, and I just kind of want to almost do more of a love letter 
from me to New Orleans. And I think it would just be fun, just kind of almost a little scrapbook for myself and for my best friend Rick, who if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen him in photos because he tends to pop up probably more frequently than any of my other friends, despite the fact that we don't even live in the same city any longer. She always does this where she wraps her at least one, if not both of her arms around you when you give her affection and you scratch her little beard and stuff, she'll like wrap her little paws around your arm to kind of, I guess, show appreciation. I don't really know why she does it. See? Every time. It's like clockwork. <laughs> anyway, I just finished prepping a video that'll go up in the morning. It'll be another not vlog. And I suppose because it'll already be up before this, I'll link it here. It's the one where I show you guys how I meal prep, even though I don't really be doing it though. I find those little pre-packaged meals where it's like six spears of asparagus and four ounces of turkey and half a cup of sweet potatoes, like in a pre-packed container. There's something really tragic about that to me and that life is not for me. I like to have some spontaneity in my meals while still enjoying the convenience of meal prepping. So I just do, you know, the accoutrements and then I can puzzle piece together meals as I please. And it still saves me a lot of time instead of having to cook every meal from scratch throughout a week. Anyway, sorry guys, I, it would have been so easy to film with Philium because I know he would have been down, but it completely went out of my mind. I, I just, I'm not made for this life. So for now you're stuck with me in this one. I mean, what are we gonna do with her? Just look at her. How long is she gonna stay like this, I wonder? <laughs> Well, Ray Ray, you're the real star. I'm gonna leave the shot like this while we do our sign off. Thanks so much for watching another day with T and Ray. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. That's a, that's a nappy headed <laughs> hose there, I'm gonna tell you that now. <laughs>